Hey there everyone, um, so this time around I decided I'll review a little offbeat from my usual uh, books, like story books as such. These are art books, um, but they're very well in keeping with the theme of the channel wherein I like decided I'll, keep a ch I'll d make a channel where I review the content and the art of books. So these are very much in line with that. So as you can see, this is like, I've, I haven't even opened this up. I do not know what to expect. But from what I've heard, this is I, in Fallout 4 is one of my all-time favorite uh, games, along with New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas. But Fallout 4, I think very few can top that. 86 was a disaster. Don't ask me. I think it was 86. Fallout 86. But yeah, that I think was a disaster. But then opinions vary. Let's anyways. Let's get to the book. So um, as you can see, my copy is pretty okay, except for this part. This is a little ding. I'll also be reviewing Gears of uh, War 4, but this is, and this is, these are new books. I got them from Amazon. Amazon India is terrible at their packaging books. They like ship the books in pure plastic bags. No, no, um, no protection whatsoever. And I'm guessing when they throw the books to the ground why, at the shipping centers or something, they like, they inevitably damage them. I, I prefer not to get my books from Amazon. Um, unless it's like uh, it's 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 shipped by the seller and the seller has good um, reputation, but these were too good to pass up. I think I bought them for pretty cheap. I don't remember, so don't ask what the price was. But yeah, um, let's get to the art of Fallout 4. So yeah, let's show the spine first. So this is the spines by Dark Horse. Dark Horse does really good books, uh, in my opinion. They have been one of the very few consistently good publishing houses in, in, in comics, manga, and um, so for manga, I think, um, what, which manga, I think, uh, I think Berserk is by Dark Horse? Uh, no, no, Berserk is, I've forgotten basically, I think Berserk is by Dark Horse. Um, for comics, you know, Hellboy is tops the list, but yeah, they are really doing a good job with these. Um, let's open this up. So, they have like pre-production stuff. This is a very book, big, big book. It's uh, difficult, little difficult to fit it all in the frame, and I'm trying. Let's see. Um, so there's the contents, and then this is how it opens up. Forward by Istvan Pele. Yeah. So. You can pause and read these sections if you want here, but I'll keep going uh, just to keep the like the uh, video within reasonable length. I have to cover two books anyways. I'll not be showing every um, every page, every artwork, but I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous, beautiful. So uh, if you have not played Fallout 4, um, it's one of the best uh, role-playing games out there. Like. You take decisions, and it's 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 a very very good game in my opinion. the The whole point of the game is that um, Earth has been uh, like um, uh, irradiated by nuclear fallout, and then people live in live in um, in uh, shelters like underground bunkers, and then they have unique weapons crafted from junk before because junk is everywhere, and then like they make weapons out of junks which can which can which they can assemble and repair at their own but there is some high technology as well available like flaming swords and such plasma swords and you you can find cars um it's like a nuclear world nuclear uh, world that has been like uh, destroyed so it's it's really good uh, this is pip uh, it's, it's uh, pip boy uh, yeah i think it's called pip boy like this is the um, thing that you wear on your wrist and it, it gives you stats and such it, it's a beautiful game if you have not played fallout 4 and you like video games you're missing out that's that's all i can say um they have really cool collectibles in the game so these are like um these are like um stuff that you can collect in the game and then these are beautiful They're, so they, they, they these represent strength agility and stuff like that um I'm trying to collect the Funko Pops for these, uh, for the strength, agility and stuff, they're really good. Then this is the production team, most likely, yeah, Bethesda Game Studios team. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the art of Fallout 4, let's get into Gears of, the art of Gears of War 4. Mm, 
pretty standard fare again by dark horse um, so gears of war uh, I, I it used to be a microsoft uh, specific like they release specifically on their xbox i'm not very really sure whether they have ported it now i mean it's available on pc as well but yeah essentially it's microsoft xbox only another great game uh, it's fairly short in comparison to fallout 4 because fallout 4 is a humongous game like um I don't remember how many hours I invested into that, but it, it's a beautifully satisfying game. But this is also a really good game. It's it's like a uh, campaign thing. It's a first-person shooter, but really good stuff. Uh, not not a first-person. I think it was a third-person shooter. Anyways, you get the point. Like you you shoot stuff. You shoot aliens that move. That's the whole point of the game. It has a really in-depth story as well. A uh, lovely game. I and they have like really cool artwork. The weapons are really like futuristic because the the game is set in the future really futuristic stuff and as you can see really good things like the lore of gears of war is pretty deep as well i mean not as deep as maybe diablo or stuff like that but pretty deep nonetheless um and the artwork is oh my god this is so gorgeous yeah really good <laughs> artwork uh so vehicles really cool man uh I think these are VTOLs. No, this these might be VTOLs. Um, yeah, but yeah, really good stuff. And they have like from the all these stages of the um, game, if you can call them stages, it's like yeah, areas I'd say. Area from all the areas of the game, this is like really shiny. It's not coming off very well in the in the um, in the video, but it's really gorgeous. Take my word for it. So it's really well printed. This is like pretty shiny, not. Uh, it's it's not lithographic quality printing, but pretty good printing. I mean, it's not overly shiny, but it's it's like slightly matte, as you can as you can probably uh, stay say from that texture, but it's really good. So, um, I guess the uh, shiny thing like takes away a little bit, but yeah. And then there are multiplayer maps detailed as well. Uh, this is not a guidebook but it is the art book so it covers almost everything um so yeah that's about it uh the art of fallout 4 the art of gears of war 4 if you have any comments any questions anything to state about the video please feel free to um write down in the comments do subscribe to this channel i'll try to take a photo of this maybe in this position and make it a um the thumbnail yeah it's thumbnail right yeah the thumbnail uh yeah so anyways um feel free to write in the comments and yeah thank you